Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Sabrina Spellman. No, just kidding. Um, so I just wanted to talk about, while I'm still in my Sabrina cosplay, I actually just want to talk about the show um, made by Netflix, The Chilly Adventures of Sabrina. And, oh my god. <laughs> I have been so invested in this show since I even heard that they were going to be doing it. And I am in love. So, uh, the show is amazing, except for the fourth season ending. Um, I would have been way happier with a cliffhanger. I just, I didn't want spoiler alert, <laughs> but I didn't want the main character to die. I wanted them to be able to do a hip cliff- <laughs> a cliffhanger so that if another, let's say, streaming service or TV channel wanted to keep this going, they could have picked it right up. But you know, Netflix, usually a lot of Netflix's shows and original features and things that they do, they don't even get a fourth season or they're canceled after the first season, which is really sad because Sabrina was amazing. And Sabrina played by Kiernan Shipka was amazing. Also, um, they made a living dead doll based on the chilling adventures of Sabrina, which I have. Isn't she cute? She's kind of creepy, but cute at the same time. They also have a little Salem in there. You kind of can't see him, but Isn't this so cute? Also, I paid for that with my own money, so that was not a sponsor or anything, but I am so freaking obsessed with The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Um, they also have comics, the original comics that Sabrina actually did first show up and then eventually got her own comic was the um, Archie comics who are the original creators of Sabrina and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So she should have originally gotten a Riverdale Chilling Adventures of Sabrina uh, crossover. They originally should have done one. And there kind of is in the third season, but if you're not much of a Riverdale fan or you don't know about Riverdale, then you're not going to catch it um, because the only way to figure out that this specific person, which is not even an actual character in Riverdale, they just put a Riverdale Southside Serpent's jacket on him, but the insignia on the jacket has a serpent on it and it says Southside Serpent's. So only Riverdale fans or RG Comic fans would know that that is kind of a crossover but not really they're in the archie world they are neighbors their towns are neighbors and um in the show in the chilling adventures of serena show they do quite often talk about being you know the town next over is riverdale and that riverdale is so scary and then Riverdale also talks about how Greendale, which is the town that um, Sabrina lives in, is right just right over the bridge, just right over Sweetwater River, um, next door to Riverdale. And from what I've noticed, both these towns have some type of curse or something bad that goes along with the town. So, like, Riverdale is, you know, drug cartels and teenagers that are doing stuff that they are really not supposed to be doing as far as being teenagers. Um, and Sabrina's town, Greendale, is more of a, uh, witches live there. So... Yeah, I think 
the Archie, they made the Archie comic series coincide with each other because Sabrina is a part of the Archie universe. They're literally right next to each other in the comic towns. I feel like that they should have done more of a crossover in that Netflix series and CW. CW should have at least brought it up or bought rights to at least do a crossover in their TV series, but we can only hope, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, let me know down below if you want to see a crossover or CW should pick it up eventually, maybe. Um, let me know who your favorite character is in The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina or if you even like Chilling Adventures of Sabrina or if you are more of a Riverdales fan. Please let me know. Um, I actually like Riverdale, but I love Chilling Adventures of Sabrina more just because of that witchy vibe. I'm very much into the dark, the occult, things like that. Um, I'm very much obsessed with witches and Halloween and this is why I love this cosplay so much because it revolves around witches and Halloween and all that spooky stuff. Um, so I pretty much just wanted to talk about it um, and how I really felt. And I'm very sad about the fourth season just because of how that ending is. I freaking cried. I don't really cry, but I cried. I was so sad. But definitely, like, this show... <laughs> Sorry, it's hailing outside so if you can hear it on my window pane I am so sorry anyways um can't remember what I was talking about um but uh definitely let me know if there's any other cosplays you want to see me do and talk about the series or video game or whatever you have in mind I would be happy to um, I think that's about it. If there's more of any topics you want me to talk about, um, about the Sabrina series or the Archie series, um, also let me know. And I think that's it. Until next time, which is...